few people realize that at a time when the first cities appeared in the Middle East, and humanity was already familiar with agriculture, the familiar Black Sea did not exist yet. However, first things first. The Ice Age began about two and a half million years ago. The mechanism of the emergence of glaciers was quite simple. The snow that had not melted for centuries in the north caked up and formed ice slabs towering hundreds of meters, which moved far to the south in the most severe periods. In some periods, the glacier even reached the territory where such a city of Ukraine as the Dnieper is located. However, from time to time there were thaws, interglacial periods lasting from several thousand to several hundred thousand years. We live in one of these interglacials, and, despite the hype about global warming, its warmest period has long ended. However, with regard to the new glaciation, the opinions of scientists differ. Some researchers argue that the decrease in solar activity observed since 2015 will lead to the beginning of a new glaciation by the middle of the century. According to other researchers, despite the periodic cooling, the current interglacial can last for more than 1,000 and possibly tens of thousands of years. However, the shadow of the coming winter always walks nearby. As already mentioned, during glaciation, the snow in the north of the continent does not melt, but forms huge ice slabs. In turn, this fact causes a general drop in the level of the world ocean. During thaws, the water level rises. The event associated with the transition to the current interglacial is the appearance of the Baltic Sea 12,000 years ago. The fact of the transformation of a cold lake into a warmer sea strongly influenced the formation of a warm temperate climate in Europe. The Black Sea known to us is much younger. The theory of the Black Sea flood, which turned a freshwater lake into a sea, was put forward back in the 70s of the 20th century. This theory was finally formed in 1996, and the real evidence of this event was found in 2000 by the famous oceanologist Robert Ballard. According to the theory, seven and a half thousand years ago, the salty waters of the Mediterranean Sea make their way to the Bosphorus, where a huge waterfall appears. This waterfall brought hundreds of times more water every day than the modern Niagara Falls. From the ingress of huge volumes of salt water, all freshwater inhabitants of the Black Lake died out, and the level of the lake that became the sea rose by about 140 meters. The coastline has moved tens of kilometers. More than 150,000 square kilometers were flooded. According to one theory, the rapid extinction of freshwater animals caused the uninhabited depths filled with hydrogen sulfide. The Black Sea Flood, according to a number of researchers, became the basis for the myth of Atlantis and the global flood. It is worth noting that these events took place at a time when cities such as Jericho already stood in the Middle East. Archaeological research confirms the large-scale migration of peoples from Anatolia taking place at that time. Later, many immigrants from this region would form the first agricultural cultures of Europe. The Black Sea Flood can rightly be called a catastrophic event. Probably in less than a year, a large number of settlements were flooded, because the coastal zone has always been a desirable habitat. As a result of the flood, the ancestral home of the Indo-Europeans and other peoples could well have been underwater. On the other hand, this event significantly accelerated the spread of agriculture on the European continent. And who knows what era we would live in now if the Black Sea still remained a fresh lake.